Hello, and welcome to this module on sharing Google Fusion tables. In this lesson, you will learn two methods for sharing Google Fusion tables so others can view and edit the data. There are two methods. One is by capturing a static image that you can then paste into a Microsoft Word document, Microsoft PowerPoint, or other application. The other method is sharing a live link that recipients can use on the internet to either view or to also edit. Here we are in the Google Fusion Tables application. We have already imported our data. For the first method, I wish to capture this chart. I come down here to my start menu and type snipping tool. Here is my snipping tool. I wish to create a new snip and here are the instructions. Draw the cursor around the area you want to capture. So I wish to capture this area of my fusion table. Now I have the image captured. I can either save the image or copy. I wish to copy this image. And now I will open another Microsoft application, in this instance Microsoft PowerPoint. And here I can paste my image. I can repeat this process as many times as necessary until I have all images in this PowerPoint or Microsoft Word document. Now returning to Google Fusion Tables, instead of capturing a static image, I can share a link. I click Share. There are two ways to share a link. One is by sharing this URL that grants recipients of the URL access to view your Fusion table, meaning they cannot make any changes. The other option is to invite people using their Gmail address. Those who have been invited to view your Fusion table can view or edit the Fusion table. In order to share a link, first you need to change who has access. By default, your link is only accessible to you. If I select change, here I can say anyone with the link can view it. And save. Now, if I copy this link and I can paste it into an email. Now, anybody who receives this email can click on the link and view the table. They cannot make changes, but they can view. Returning to my Google Fusion Table application, now I wish to invite people to edit the Fusion Table. So I will type in amy.lydic.ucsf at gmail.com. And now I am allowing this person to edit the fusion table. Once I select send, then this person will receive an invitation to edit the fusion table. If I change this to view, then this person will receive an invitation to only view the file. Edit and I'll choose send. Once the recipient of that invitation receives their access, you'll see them in the list here of other people with access to this fusion table. And then I can click done. This concludes the lesson on sharing Google Fusion tables. Thank you.